Welcome back to another episode of It's Empty. Today I'm back at Vulcan Alpha. A few weeks ago, you may remember, my car was here. Lapo was scanning it all and measuring it. Then it was just a dream of a big wing. But today we are here with Misha, Lapo, the whole team. We're here to fit the big wang. The big wang. So yeah, Misha. Do you want to tell them what's happening today? Yeah, I mean, Again. you said it already in general. <laughs> we're going to be fitting the big Vulcan Alpha VA320 wing. I mean, when you look at the car from now with this wing, it may look already big, but should we grab the VA320 yeah, for reference? Uh, so you can see actually the main difference in size and downforce. Do, 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 do. I mean, look at that, guys. And as Misha previously said, it even makes me look narrow. <laughs> <laughs> so this wing is basically going to swallow the original winglet that we've got. It's going to be creating about 200 kg of downforce at what speed? 200 kilometers an hour. Yeah. Okay, at 200 kilometers an hour. Basically, it's big, it's bad. It's a Vulcan Alpha wing. We're going to go ahead, get it fitted. Watch us. Let's do it. So, Lapo, let's get straight to it. Mm -hmm. I'm on a short visit. I've come for the big wang. What are we gonna do? Your short visit? Yeah, I'm literally here for like 72 hours. <laughs> That's very true. So, come on, what are we doing? So, um, first thing is to open up the boot and uh, take off the, the wing, take off the interior panel. Uh, and then we're gonna have to take off the boot, mm. put it on the bench, uh, mock up the brace. Uh, the brace is gonna allow us to center the, um, the mounting holes. So we're gonna drill it and, and then put all things together. I do want to say one thing though, you know, guys, and I'm not, I'm not just saying it because I've gone and bought the Vulcan Alpha 320 and I'll be reselling these in, in the UK at GTEC. But honestly, I've never seen carbon like it. Wait till it's fitted, you'll see. See how smooth it is. I mean, this carbon wing, I paid, I think, £360 for it. And I mean, you look at it, it's got ripples in it. It looks nice, it's big. But is it actually doing anything aerodynamically? This is the uh, thing. It, it might do something, but of course is in the 20 to 30% of what 10%. It can do. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, it, the leaning edge is not really, uh, let's say, defined. The airfoil is not really thick. Uh, you don't have... Um, a, much expansion at the, at the bottom, so. Okay, let's not slate the poor guy who made this wing. We're gonna it, go ahead, guys. No, 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 it's, I mean, get it aesthetically, uh, it looks it nice, aesthetically, it looks nice. Yeah. It, it, it does its, for, for what you're paying, you get a lot of, for your money. So, it, it's, uh, to start with, it's a good wing. So let's go ahead now and start stripping. Okay, so does this go back on or no? No. Can't go back on. Well, you can cut it up, but you can no, leave it. There's no point. Weight reduction. Uh, is there anything here? No. No, it's just stuff. Oh, stuff like this. So. There you go. We need to take Z. These Weight off. reduction. Big wang it out. The winglet. Where do you want it? So let's move the wing. So Lapo, you've got it on the bench. Mm -hmm. What's the next process? Uh, next process is to mock up this, which is the uh, brace. Basically goes like so. So I already, so you're already cut out. Okay, there. Uh, and Just basically what we need, need to, to do is line it up. Yeah. And then basically, there you go. And we need to cut out more stuff. Yeah. And then we need to throw these in that basically are like the other ones, clamp the sheet metal together and then the brace is going to brace everything together and distribute the force. Okay, Lapo, so as we, you can see, we enlarged the holes. We enlarged the existing holes yeah. and made them black. He's yeah. put this paint on just so it doesn't rust. Mm -hmm. Very nice touch. The cage is in. Mm -hmm. We're just basically marking up all the holes. Yeah. Rev nuts go in here, yep. Papa. Yeah, and then also here in the back. Yeah. Uh, we need to enlarge a little bit this hole here. Yeah. Uh, and then bolt everything together. So you can see here, guys, I was showing on previous things. This is like the sandwich plate, which was like banana shaped. Mm -hmm. uh, that ensures that when the wing goes onto it, it forms a perfect shape. So there's no like bowing or anything. Yeah. Uh, and then literally it bolts through here and that's how it gets its like mounting power. Yep. So. So now we're excellent. So all the holes. Gonna go ahead and drill these holes and then it's time to mount the big wang. 
So a few weeks ago, you guys might have seen a lady called Vika on Misha's channel. Uh, her Instagram name is have a name, sorry, crazy driver in a polo. Polo. Black polo. And she's now checking out the 240. Here she is. What's your views on it, Vika? I really like your car. And you, you have a 240 as well, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I have an M240 too. Is it running any power but like mine or? No. <laughs> no? Maybe no. we can get it to that power. Yeah, maybe. So Sunday, we're going to do a lap in your car, yeah? Yeah, we do it. Excellent. I hope you will enjoy it. <laughs> I'm going to go out with her in the polo because she's a sick driver, man. So we'll do it Sunday, hopefully. But tomorrow, it's going to be raining. So I don't think we're going to get it tomorrow. Yeah, For those maybe of you... we can do a drift polo lap. <laughs> She's mad. Let me show you her car. This for, for those of you who don't know, this is the car. Um, this polo, you must have seen it around. So, yeah. Check her out, guys. Have a name. Is it have a name I'm sorry or have a name? Have a name sorry. Have a name sorry. <laughs> you can look in the car. Yeah, let's have a look around her car. Wow. This is the shit box. Yeah, Macrolon. Yeah, but it's these things that are rapid. So you may build this yourself? Uh, what, yeah. Well, what is this like? The amount of times you've been in prison, what is this? <laughs> These are my laps with this car. How many laps have you done? With this car, uh, 1,000 or something like that. And uh, all together... 1,000 laps? <laughs> yeah, and all together 1,400, I think. And is that your best? Time. Yeah, with the polo. 8.26? Yeah, and my best at 8.26. All. <laughs> She's putting you guys to shame, man. She's putting me to shame, putting everyone to shame. <laughs> I definitely want to sit in this. What engine have you got? Is it the 1.8 turbo or...? 1.6, um, 16 four, 120 horsepower, GTI. <laughs> So it's not about horsepower, it's about the driver. She's been like chasing 911s and shit like that. She's she's a sick driver. You go and watch her videos. It's have a name. Have a name sorry. Have a name sorry on Instagram. Go and watch her videos. And if you haven't watched it, watch it on Misha's channel. But then definitely watch it on my channel because I'm gonna try and get with her on Sunday in the polo, 120 horsepower, eight minutes and twenty-six seconds is her best. Maybe with me in it it won't be. But I'm definitely looking forward to sitting in it. You will see the video Excellent. on YouTube. Excellent. <laughs> Wicked. Thank you, Vika. Thanks for showing us around. We spent most of the night last night fitting the big wang. And there it is. A big shout out to Vulcan Alpha, Misha and Lapo. It looks absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, we didn't get any track time today because of the beautiful weather. However, we have delayed our journey for tomorrow and Misha is all mine from eight till 10, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Weather permitting. And then we're gonna take it on the track and see how it performs. Gonna be exciting, looking forward to it. Yeah, so like, share and subscribe, guys. And we'll see you for more content. I'm gonna get inside because it's raining and I'm getting wet. Yeah, catch you again.